This hat is locked. The key does not fit the lock. A dual locking padlock. I need to find the code and then insert a key. A braided silk belt. It may have belonged to the victim. I fear that this case is far from being solved. Come on, Poirot. You'll find the killer. Certes. But how many times will he kill before I do? This hat is locked. This hat is locked.
a dual locking padlock. I need to find the code and then insert a key. Betty's first day at work. Mom is very proud of you. Elizabeth Barnard, 7 August 1931. So, 
The young lady did have a name starting with B, and she worked as a ginger cat, an establishment that must be slightly further along the beach. The purse is full, yet again we can dismiss theft as the motives for the murder. Here is the watch she must have removed to prevent it from getting wet. A top brand lipstick. She liked to take care of her appearance. As well as a photo of the victim with some company. It could be useful to me. It definitely was here that the victim left her belongings. Jap has gone to the police. The victim has been identified and her family had reported her disappearance. She was called? Elizabeth Barnard, mainly Betty. She worked as a ginger cat at the cafe slightly further along the beach. But Poirot, how on earth? Never mind. Do you have her address? Yes, she lived with her parents on the street leading to the beach, number 22. Shall we go? You are far too impatient, Hastings. Let the poor people take in the news first. Let us go and visit the cafe where Betty worked. I fear that this case is far from... Certes. I'll be with you in a minute, gentlemen. What a pity. I don't have any chance to make it work. A delightful cafe. So this is where Betty worked? Yes, indeed. Let us find someone to talk to. Something tells me that she is the owner of the ginger cat. This woman must be the owner of the ginger cat. It looks like something is bothering her. How can I help you? A hot chocolate and a tea for my friend, please. I'll bring it straight away. This is a well-laid table. Nothing is out of place and, above all, no creases. I need to know the time range during which Betty was working on her own. These are the different waiting staff's bills. 
Which ones were written by Betty? I should consult the register first. Where is Betty? Betty worked from 11 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Would she have been alone at any time during her service? This page won't help me. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Betty wasn't serving on her own at these two times. Let's keep searching. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Betty wasn't serving on her own at these two times. Let's keep searching. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Betty wasn't serving on her own at these two times. Let's keep searching. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Betty wasn't serving on her own. Most probably a single man, a whiskey lover, maybe the murderer. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. No, something's not right. Betty was alone at just one of these two times. Maybe I should consult the register again. I must be missing something.
most probably a single man, a whiskey lover, maybe the murderer. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. No, something's not right. Betty was alone at just one of these two times. Most probably a single man, a whiskey lover, maybe the murderer. This bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Most probably a family. Betty served a family and a man on his own, a whiskey drinker, maybe the murderer. This information will help me to progress. What? Gentlemen, what are you doing? We are searching for clues, mademoiselle. My name is Hercule Poirot, I am a detective, and this is Captain Hastings. Does Betty Barnard work here? That is correct. She should have been here a while ago. Punctuality is the first rule of politeness. I fear that Miss Barnard will not be coming today. She has just been found dead on the beach a few hundred meters from the cafe. How awful. Poor young thing. What happened? She appears to have been murdered. This is most distressing. How this will affect my business, I shudder to think. What can you tell us about Miss Barnard? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Miss Barnard was my employee, her private life was none of my business. You did know at least that she had a young man. Indeed. This photo was found. Is this him? Yes, that's him all right. 
but I haven't seen him for some time. I find young people today very hard to understand. You needn't tell me that. A few weeks ago, they argued just outside the cafe. Imagine what my customers must have thought. I hope for you that it was an isolated incident. It must be difficult to keep a respectable establishment if your staff shows themselves to be so shameless. The young man only made a scene the once. Jealousy, no doubt. It must be said the young girl was very pretty. Thank you for your time, Mademoiselle Merion. You have been of great help. The customer who ordered the whiskey might provide us more information. He may have been the last one to see Betty alive. It is an interesting idea, Stings. Maybe he is a regular guest. What do you think, Mademoiselle? I don't think so. Our regular guests tend to order tea and cakes. At this time of the year, there are a lot of tourists about you never see again. That's what I thought. Time to visit Betty's home. Miss Marion is not the sort of witness that my friend enjoys questioning. Hastings appears to be ill at ease. He appeared to be relatively indifferent to Mrs. Asher's murder, but a young woman's murder seems to be troubling him greatly. I fear that this case is f certain. 